In this video, I'm going to show you how to delay sending text messages or how to pretty much schedule a text message to be sent out in the future. So let's just begin with it. For this, we will, of course, be using iOS Shortcut. So if you don't have the iOS Shortcuts app downloaded, make sure to go to the App Store and simply type in Shortcuts. And the first app is, of course, going to pop up. You need to have that installed. Then you need to click on the link, which is down below in the description. It's going to get you here. So this is the iOS shortcuts gallery, and this shortcut allows you to do what the video title actually says to schedule or delay sending a text message. So add it to your shortcuts gallery. So click on get shortcut. It's going to open up the uh, shortcuts app and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the red button, which says add untrusted shortcut. If this option is not available, it means that you have to come back to the settings and simply find the shortcuts section and make sure to allow untrusted shortcuts. That means that the green tech has to be there. I mean, it just has to be turned on for third party shortcuts to work. And however, if you are not able to turn it on or to allow it, Make sure to run any shortcut which is already pre-installed or any shortcut, just tap on it once and then when you come back to the settings again, the option should be clickable and you should be able to allow it. Okay, but to come back, click on add, click on the red big button and this is going to say that it's been added there and now you are pretty much good to go. You have to somehow enable it. So you can either add it to your home screen, use it as a widget, or simply tap on it in the gallery. And it's going to ask you this. This is the pop-up that you're going to get. So hit OK. And now it's going to bring out all of the contacts. So just search for the one that you want this to want to send the delayed text message to. So find anyone you want. And you just like that, let me click on myself. And... You just type in the the text, I mean, the uh, essence of the text message. So the text is going to be typed here. So let's say something like, hey, you hit on done. And now you just schedule it. So the calendar is going to pop up. So you click on the date, you click on the year, you even have the option to set the specific time. So make sure to set everything up. And once you are done, of course, hit done. This shortcut, of course, needs permission to send text messages because that, that is like the purpose. So make sure to click on OK. Don't hit the uh, don't allow option, obviously. So hit OK. And that means that you should be OK. You just wait and the message is going to arrive on the scheduled time. So this is how it works. And this is how you can schedule how to actually delay sending the text message. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, what you can do is definitely hit subscribe. That means that you will never miss future content and future videos, so I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, but like I said, there are a couple of options how to enable the shortcut. So you can, for example, just open up the shortcut just by clicking on the three dots there. And make sure to click on share and you should be able to add it to the home screen. So make sure to do this. And you can even see the preview, make sure to add it. And now it's going to appear right on the home screen. So every time you just need it really quickly, you don't have to open up the actual shortcuts app. You just run the shortcut just by clicking on it. And it works really well. Plus, it's just a regular icon. It's not a huge widget, even though you have the option to add that as well. Hold down on the screen, hit uh, the plus icon find the widgets of the shortcuts and just add widget and it's going to be a huge widget for it even though it doesn't really matter that much i mean it, it's just up to you how you want to use it but you get the formula you now can send delayed text messages so this is pretty much it for today's video i want to say again thank you very much for watching and your support i really do appreciate it if you want to support this video even more just smash the thumbs up that's going to be appreciated and subscribe so you don't miss the future videos thanks a lot again I'll see you guys later in the next video peace out